Whatever slim hopes the reggae boys have about qualifying for the FIFA World Cup, they will be hoping this doesn't dissipate on Wednesday when they face Costa Rica at the National Stadium starting at 7 p.m. Jeremy Brown looks ahead. A wounded reggae boys team will have one final throw of the dice in a game which could signal the end of a campaign that really hasn't taken flight. It could easily go down as one of the worst campaigns in recent times and one which many are now just finding the problems affecting the team. But it would seem a bit too late as the horse has long left the gate. It's very difficult to have players from different areas of the world come in uh, and find a, a style of play that quickly uh, to get them to, to, to have possession against a team. Two teams that are very, very good at having possession of the ball. Paul Hall, who has been in charge for the games against Mexico and Panama, and before that was the Theodore Whitmore's assistant, says the team is making too many individual mistakes. I mean, if you see the Mexico game, there were two errors that you saw um, or may not have seen that reflected in us losing the game um, against Panama. Another error uh, when we were in control of the game, so to speak. And yeah, it's just something that we have to address. The Jamaicans have only picked up two points at home and life can be difficult as well against a business-like Costa Rican outfit. The one good thing about it is we know what they're about. We've played them many times over the last you know, six, six months, seven months. So we know what they're about. We know what to expect. So hopefully we can get on the front foot being at home and, and really take the game to them. And it's not just Costa Rica Hall has to think about. There's also noise from within. An Instagram comment by right back O'Neill Fisher on the sidelined striker Darren Maddox post of him scoring for the team and liked by Javon Watson is not making comfortable reading. Like, I haven't seen the, uh, the the social media that you're requesting of, so I don't know what context that's in. So it'd be unfair for me to comment on that and, and, and comment on anybody's comments on the squad that's been picked. Hall was asked on Monday if the spirit of the team has been affected since the departure of Whitmore. When you see the resilience that the players showed against Mexico, then that was some serious resilience. So I don't think the spirit's been, been tested at all. I think, if anything, they've stuck together. Defeat for the boys on Wednesday will mean the rest of the campaign will only be of academic interest. Jeremy Brown reporting for TVJ Sports.